All right, another video about cheap pottery wheels. Uh, I have bought a couple of these cheaper pottery wheels from Amazon.com. And one of the issues is they did not come with bat pins. They did not even come with the holes to put bat pins in. So I am going to drill some holes in these wheel heads so I can use the bats that I've been using for, I mean, 20 years or so. Uh, I've been using these plastic bats mostly. Uh, different shapes and sizes and colors. Uh, so I've got a pretty good collection. So I want my bat pins to match my bat system. So I took my measuring tape, measured out, actually I measured the pins on the my old pottery wheel, and it came out to 10 inches from middle of each pin to the other pin. And so probably the most important thing is to get my pins exactly 10 inches apart. That way my bats will fit on there and everybody will be happy. Now there's a few ways to do that. You could uh, make yourself a paper template, um, get some paper and trace around your wheel head, cut it out, fold it in half, a couple different directions, making sure the two edges match up. That will give you like a center point, measure out your 10 inches, or you could even kind of mark out on your bat where the holes are. And then you've got your nice straight line, and then you'll have your, your marks. But, I mean, that seems like a little extra work to me. Another way you could do it, I mean, you could get, if you've got a bat with holes that are all the way through, you could put this on here, get it centered, and then just make your marks right through the holes. Personally, I'm going to do the, possibly the least amount of work, uh, if you want to know the most efficient way to do something, I've heard you ask somebody that's, you know, pretty lazy and they're, they're good at finding the easiest way to do things. So I'm going to just use my ruler here. Uh, make sure your ruler's nice and straight, of course. And I'm going to put my 5 inch mark right in the middle and then I'm going to mark at 10 inches and 0 inches. So my holes will be exactly 10 inches apart. Uh, they should be exactly centered on the wheel because my nice straight line is going right through the middle. But one thing you want to check is the underside. You want to make sure you're not drilling through one of the ridges underneath. And you got to make sure your wing nuts have enough room to screw onto the bolts so they don't hit those ridges as they're spinning around. You could take your wing nut and double check if it's going to go on here. You can check how we got room on this one. Okay. That looks about right. Oops. I've got my midpoint marked, then I'm going to mark 10 inches, and then I'm going to mark 0 inches, and then my two marks should be centered both ways on the wheel. Now if you get this part off a little bit, it won't make too much of a difference. I mean if, you're, if your bat wiggles a little bit as it's going around, shouldn't, it shouldn't affect too much. I mean you're going to be thrown in the middle of it. So not a huge deal if you're off a little bit, but you got to make sure it's exactly 10 inches apart so it will so your bats will fit on there. I'm going to double check of course. Uh, you know the old saying measure twice, cut once. My holes line up just about perfectly with my bat here and then if I turn on my wheel it should be centered. Oh man, I love when stuff works out like it's supposed to. Alright, now we are ready to drill some holes. Here's the scary part. The second most important part, maybe equally as important as getting the right uh, distance from pin to pin, is to make the right hole in your wheel head. Because if your hole is too small, of course, your bat pins won't go down there. Uh, if your hole is too big, though, your bat pins might wiggle a little bit. Now, you can screw them down, of course, with the, the wing nuts. But if the hole's too big, when you tighten them down, they might be off in one direction or another a little bit, which would make your bat not fit very well. So you want to figure out what kind of pins you're going to use, of course, and then get the, the right size hole. Now I just took off the, the bat pins from my old wheel, which needed to be changed, it looks like, anyways. Uh, you can see they were get a little rust on them. Uh, but 20 years, I mean, they, they held up pretty well. Uh, so I just took the, the pin part to the hardware store and found something that matches. They're actually called socket head cap screws, is what I found. Now one thing I, 
I've been thinking about is you can actually get a stainless steel version with a couple bucks more. So I probably should have done that. Perhaps there would be less rust, but I'm not expecting these cheap pottery wheels to last quite that long. So, I mean, that's up to you, I guess. The cap screws that I found were labeled 1 4th 20, and they were three, three quarters inch long, which seemed to be about the right size that I wanted to match the other wheel as well. So you don't want your, your pins to be too long so they don't hit your splash pan underneath. Uh, so you might have to check your wheel and see what's going to work for you. But uh, the three-fourths at the end is just how long they are. The one-fourth is how wide the threaded part of the bat pin is. So that's going to tell us how wide my hole needs to be. One-fourth of an inch. Okay, so I've got a quarter-inch drill bit that I'll use to do the finished hole. <clears throat> the, the dash 20 part is, I believe, just the... Uh, thread size. That's really only important unless you're actually making threaded holes to screw your bat pins into. You don't need to worry about the thread size except when you pick out your wing nuts to tighten them down underneath. Uh, they should match one quarter dash 20. They should go on there if the numbers match. I've got my bat pins picked out or my cap screws as they're known to non-potters. So I know what size hole to make, but you can't just take your big old drill bit and drill your hole, or so I've been told. Perhaps you can, I don't know. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it, uh, doing it the, the professional way here. So I'm going to actually drill a pilot hole in here first, but I don't want, if you've ever used a drill before, you start drilling, sometimes your drill bit kind of walks or moves around a little bit. So what you can do is take a like a little punch, or if you don't have an actual punch, you can just take a nail, and we're going to make a little indent into our wheel head. Just make sure it's lined up with your mark very carefully. Give it a couple taps, and hopefully you'll have a little bit of a hole started here. And so that way, your hopefully your drill bit won't move as you are drilling it. Now, as far as drill bits, we're drilling through aluminum on these cheap pottery wheels. And aluminum is very soft as far as metals go. So almost any drill bit should work. I mean, as long as it's sharp. Uh, even just some high speed steel drill bits, which are kind of the low grade drill bits. Uh, I've got kind of the next step up. I've got some titanium coated drill bits. Uh, I think the one of the higher levels is cobalt drill bits. So the better the better drill bits, just a little bit harder, a little bit longer life, um, better heat dissipation or heat resistance or whatever. But now we're ready to drill a pilot hole. So I've got just a small drill bit. I'm going to drill a pilot hole first, which will make it easier to drill a bigger hole next. Now my drill bits are pretty old. Hopefully they're sharp enough to get through this aluminum. You also shouldn't need any lubrication, uh, you know, cutting oil or I mean, even bacon grease or whatever. But since I have some, I'm going to just spray a little bit of WD-40 on there just because it'll make me feel like a professional. And I kind of like the smell, you know, that WD-40 smell. I mean, it smells like, you know, work is getting done. Now you want to make sure your drill bit is going straight in, of course. If you do it at an angle, it's not going to work as well. Your bat pin will be off a little bit and then your bat might not fit on there. Ideally, you could even take the wheel head off, take it to a drill press and that'll go straight in for sure. But I'm going to just use the old eyeball method. The faster you go, the, the more heat builds up. So I just switched it down to the lower, lower setting. Also, one thing you may want to consider is some safety equipment. Uh, I don't have my glasses on today, so I'm going to just slip some safety glasses on. Uh, this project, I mean, you shouldn't be throwing metal pieces around unless you're getting real crazy with your drill bit here. But, better safe than sorry, you definitely don't want metal in your eye. And I think it might, even my drill bit's a little bit bent. It's got kind of a wiggle to it. Which is unfortunate, but we'll make it work. 
I'm not pressing too hard. I could probably press a little harder, but I'm a little worried about my drill bit here. Ready for the next side. So now we've got two pilot holes drilled. So now we're ready to do the full size hole. I'm going to switch over to my quarter inch drill bit here. Clean off the holes a little bit. And now of course you want to be careful. You don't want this, these metal shavings all over the place. All right, so now, since I've got my pilot hole in there, this should go down much easier. Should be nice and straight. Oh yeah, off to a good start. Now, one thing you may want to consider, uh, it is, I mean, you still got plenty of room down here, but I don't, I want to be careful not to, if, I, if I'm pushing too hard, I might end up jamming my drill bit down into my body of my wheel down here, so I don't want to do that. So I'm going to put a little block of wood underneath just to be safe. Now, if I put this in here, it should fit pretty snug. Oh yeah, feels good. So now we're ready for the other side. All right, and there we have it. We've got two holes. We're going to carefully take care of these metal shavings. I'll come back in and get the old shop vac out, sweep up all these little tiny pieces. All right, got everything cleaned up. Uh, I'm gonna put in the bat pins and tighten them down for the final time. I thought I'd add just a little bit of WD-40 just to help prevent rust. Okay, so now we've got some bat pins in. Oh, now the moment of truth. Oh, man, look at that, like a glove. All right, and it's even pretty well centered. A little bit, a tiny bit of a wiggle, but that is just fine. And so snug with these new pins. I can't even get the bat off. Yeah. All right, so that means this one should fit on there as well. All right, and now my cheap uh, $200 pottery wheel has bat pins with only, I mean, a couple more bucks to get the actual cap screws and the wing nuts. Uh, I think I had everything else on hand. So not a difficult project. I mean, as long as you can measure pretty accurately. Um, so yeah, not, not bad at all. If you wanna see like a full review of these little pottery wheels, you can watch some previous videos. And I will have uh, more videos. I've got more videos on the way, actually making pots, doing some different things. So, I mean, if you want, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.